In my experience working in the welfare sector, males that are victims of domestic violence don't seek help as much uh, for counselling, for police support, for general services support overall. And it's mainly because um, they don't actually believe they're going to be believed. Or maybe it's a sense of muscularity, basically thinking that, oh, they're a man, people are going to think they're weak if they're a victim of domestic violence. But I'm telling you guys out there, um, there's a lot of people, uh, there's a lot of underreporting of male victims of domestic violence. And if you are a male victim of domestic violence, I encourage you to seek help, um, whether it be through counselling services, police, friends, family, tell them what's going on. And also maybe just keep your own diary on what's been going on for yourselves um, to help you with your own therapy and psychological well-being. And um, yes, but do seek some form of help. In Australia, they have things like Men's Line, which is a counselling service, Lifeline. Um, and in your own countries, there's potentially going to be various 24-hour counselling services. But if you're a male victim of domestic violence, seek help. Because if you don't, it can be extremely damaging to your psychological well-being. And yes, it will impact on you. And I can tell you that from my own personal experience. So please seek help for yourself and your overall well-being. That's just the message I want to get out there. Reach out, ask for help and support. Especially if you want to leave the relationship or you just want to protect yourself from a legal perspective. Please seek help if you're a male victim of domestic violence, okay?